guys, welcome to the new episode of The Voice of Innovation. Today with us we have our special guest Sai Priya who is today here to share her journey how she started her journey as a student in innovatics research lab and now she is successfully placed today in a reputed company called lead semantics so let's hear what she is here to tell today so sai priya thank you for joining us today and uh, i want to know before starting our conversation i want to know exactly what is your background where you started and what motivated you to start a course in data science and just tell me in very brief that what made you think that you should start a course you should start from scratch basis how what was your thought so i i'm from statistics background i have done my pg in applied statistics uh, uh, in my final year pg the pandemic came so uh, in the pandemic i applied for many companies but got no response so i decided to upskill myself and uh, i took to institutes for uh, in online and i did the reviews and came to know about innovatics research labs the reviews were very good i contacted the uh, institute and uh, attended one demo session like there are a lot of institutes you know who is giving the data science course and what made you think that innovatics is the right place for you yeah there were many institutes but uh, none of them were very, very responsive towards the students okay uh, so you attended the demo class okay. yeah i attended many demo sessions okay. and all of them were like giving about the minimal responses like uh, what they teach in the course how what is the cost of the course but uh they never answers like my answers like how is data science uh can i get data science jobs like uh, find the pressure what should i look through to get a data science job so they never give proper answers for my doubts okay but here you got that yeah in the demo session before the demo session of the innovatics research lab uh they gave me very like uh, explanation about uh, what they going to teach like curriculum okay. and uh, all like uh, what is their day to day activities will be how are they going to prepare students for interviews and all so i like that explanation and of course the demo session was very amazing okay you like the demo yeah, session the demo session so i decided to try the institute Okay, that's great. that's great. okay. So you were very impressed with the demo class, and finally you decided to land in innovatics. So uh, being already in a technical field, you didn't face much challenges in landing in data science subject. But I want to know, like, uh, what motivated you after doing even masters? Why you thought you need again a data science course? What was your strategy to build your career? Even though I am from a statistical background, uh, I was little aware of coding, and uh, I have no hands-on experience like how the practical knowledge will be in the data science field, and also the concept-wise, also like I don't know the real basics at all. Like I know the concept, but the way it came from the basics should be strong. So I felt that uh, I should be strong in basics, and I should get hands-on experience, which is important. Yeah. So. that's why i wanted to join the coaching so after joining the institute i came to know that actually uh, they explain the roadmap to the data science journey so we need not not only python and machine learning we also need the uh, sql skills and all data manipulation skills and all after joining the institute i came to know about the roadmap to data science job uh, apart from um, Many skills we learned in the PG, which itself is not enough. We need more skills, and actually, the hands-on experience is very uh, important. And also, we need the uh, resume skills. The resume is like very important to get a job. We don't know that in PG. Okay, we have to showcase our skills very clearly. That uh, recruiters should know that you should know how to yeah. present your skills yeah. in front of a recruiter. That was a mistake I made uh, while applying jobs. Uh, after joining the institute, uh, I was very happy. Like the trainers were so good. Uh, like they teach from scratch. 
that even a non-technical student can understand from the starting. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. So yeah. uh, you didn't face any issue in this, though you were from a technical background only. But yeah, few things were lacking behind that you were not aware of, like resume building and all these things. Mm -hmm. So these things help you to grow your career in terms of applying for interviews and all, right? Yeah. So that was a great thing. So Sayyid, yeah, I'm very happy to know that you got to know all these uh, added skills to, you know, groom yourself. But uh, in between course only you got your interview call, right? Yes. So I just want to know, uh, like a lot of people, they wait for interviews, these opportunities, but you are lucky that in between your currently going uh, course, the Innomatics offered you the great opportunity to sit in an interview. So were you nervous, like how you prepared yourself? Because course was half, you were not much, you know, confident about the questions that the interviewer is going to ask. So how you tackled that moment, How what were the challenges that time, how you prepared that moment yourself? During the course, uh, we were very strong in fundamentals and we also have the practical experience by doing the projects and hackathons and uh, the daily tasks uh, about coding. Okay, daily tasks used to be. Yeah, after teaching, there will be tasks which we used to solve those and yeah, hackathons. And uh, all this like mock mock interviews and uh, uh, resume. What these people like Innomatics Research Lab? How it groomed you in the mock interviews? Like, where is was it only you know about question or it also helped you in all the aspect that is important in uh, interviews? Uh, before the interviews, I was very nervous. I don't know how to tackle an interview, but those mock interviews. Build a confidence in me. So I, I was fully prepared, prepared by those interviews before the final interview. And yeah, after till machine learning, I was very confident that I knew this fundamental and fundamental science was very good. So I wanted to try. So Saifriya, I just want to know now, like uh, in between these classes, how faculties were with students, like how they helped you in all the aspects, starting from uh, questions, your doubt clearing, everything. Uh, the training sessions were very fun. Like they used to teach concept and in between they give like small fun tasks. Oh, I was coding one day. That was very fun. Like who will do first? The uh, it was like a competition. Yeah, okay. competition and, uh, yeah, the trainers were very good. Like in between, also their face. Have you ever felt bored in the class? No, not at all. We, we, you know, honest. Yeah. No one can tell you. Anything. It looks like exaggerating, but I'm not actually. Okay, let's see. Yeah. yeah. Because it's uh, something like you need very much of focus and concentration to do all these things. Know about all these things. But in between also if you are having some fun and that was, that's a great thing. Yeah, right? if it was a continuous session of teaching the concept only, it will be boring. But it's not like, uh, it's like some concept and then will be a coding question and then some fun will be going on. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, the mentoring sessions were also very good. Like we used to do projects in the afternoon and if we came up with any thoughts, uh, mentors used to help us like very friendly. They were uh, they not only clear our doubts. They are like mentoring us like about uh, how to prepare for an interview and very easy to learn the concepts. Okay, that's great. I hope these things are helping now you in your company and you are not facing any issues. Yeah, they were like they used to sit with us and uh, they were like uh, keep on checking on us like. Uh, are we stuck or something? That's great. That's yeah. great. So I just now I'm very curious to know like how was your experience as an intern? Like you joined as an intern and you were in between your course. So did you face any issue while uh, you know starting your internship or you know Matics, how they guided you there also? What was the experience? Uh, at first, I, uh, I thought it would be difficult because uh, without completing the final module only, I cracked the interview and joined. That's the great. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. But uh, yeah, this coding experience in Diplomatics Research Labs will be very much that uh, with this coding experience uh, and uh, learning the concept, this will help me in the company to uh, learn about new topics and uh, coding was like very. Like most of the people yeah. are afraid of coding yeah. as a fine In the medics research lab, it was like uh, 
doing the job only like okay yeah it was practical experience here only like uh, doing the projects and presenting to the mentors so how it's helping you now in your current company yeah the, i should say uh, because of the fundamentals and uh, i can easily learn the advanced concepts now okay that was helping very much and uh, yeah the coding experience like uh, doing the hackathons uh, because of the strong fundamentals uh, I was able to ad- understand the advanced concepts and doing the projects here, like uh, like uh, real time projects, like only. So it was very helpful that uh, like there is no much difference. It feel like uh, I was doing the projects like in there also, and I are doing it here also. Yeah, it's yeah, that's great. Like there is no burden of you know understanding again things. It's like I'm doing another thing. I don't know. It's not that's like that. very nice. I'm happy for you that you are enjoying your work. So, uh, like a lot of students are there, you know, they are now starting their career and uh, not career I'll say, but their course and with an aspiration that one day they will be also be placed in such a company. So, what exactly advice you would like to give to those students? You know, start their own strategy. Before starting the course, there can be many doubts like that. Am I able to complete the course? Like it is you not know, data science is like very really tough, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm from an technical background. Can I do it? Like uh, I'm not so confident, and yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not favorite about coding, and there can be many doubts. But you know, trust me, you'll get all these doubts clear during the course of the once you start attending the. Training sessions regularly and daily practicing the what they start in the training sessions and uh, you know, continuously attending for the mock sessions, whatever they conduct in the institute, it will be sufficient. Like you need to do hard work only, the remaining will be taken by uh, institute itself. Seriously, like Seriously. Uh, it is that a back support for the students? Yeah. Attend sessions regularly. Don't doubt that. Uh, yeah, this might be a silly doubt, so they won't answer like that. There will be no case like that. Even if it is a little doubt, they will take care of it. They will explain. If we miss the sessions, also there will be recorded sessions. So uh, it was very helpful. Like even sometimes maybe we are not able to attend the training sessions. That, uh, even though attending the sessions maybe sometimes we need to re revise okay, yeah. about that. So yeah. those recorded sessions will be very useful. Mm-hmm. So all uh, all you need to do is like regularly attend the sessions and do practice mm-hmm. after uh, the sessions. So there will be mentors. So take uh, help from mentors. They will advise you like uh, wha- how to approach a problem. Okay. Yeah. So and obviously attend the mock interviews. Mm-hmm. They will give that you a clear important. picture about uh, where you are, how much understanding is about your concept. That was great knowing about Cypria, but yeah, uh, before closing our session, I just want to know what was the your favorite moments as an Innomania, like now I know, though you are also a part of Innomatics now, but uh, you must be missing few things as an Innomania. So can you share so that our students who are currently you know, studying, they should not miss it and they should enjoy because along with studies and everything, these are because Innomatics resource lab is itself in a family. So what you will tell students to enjoy the uh, sessions while, you know, having fun, what you will suggest them? Uh, I enjoyed every moment in my Instagram. Honestly, uh, during the training sessions, after the training sessions, sometimes mentors, even trainers used to join with us, like, like they would be a fun chit chat. Gossips or not? <laughs> no, not gossips or okay. actually, but like how the industry will be once we give like. How the new things were available. Like they used yeah. to share their experience with you. You know, artificial intelligence is very, very, very big. So, how they'll be like, what things you are going to use. Okay. How the technical industry. So, these uh, conversations yeah. were used to be fun and interesting yeah, for The you. technical conversation were like, very fun. Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, between friends also. 
Even though we are separated by batches, we were united in the lunch breaks and all. That was so sweet, yeah. yeah. That's true. No doubt, you are working in a separate company now. You are not, you know, sitting in the same classroom having that fun chit chat. So, uh, what do you feel like uh, the thing that still keeps you tied up with the pneumatics research? Uh, I enjoyed my every moment with the initial. Uh, I enjoyed the training sessions very much. Uh, apart from training sessions, like uh, um, practice sessions were very cool. And uh, yeah, in between the training sessions, uh, mentors used to join with us like one technical conversations. Okay. Uh, even friends from another batches and uh, okay. Yeah, so you used to exchange uh, exchange right? our knowledge about uh, what we are going. Uh, going through and uh, yeah any technical uses there like so any company is doing that we used to talk about a lot about industry and uh, yeah i'm learning this you should learn this okay, yeah, so. suggestions even trainers also used to join with us like you people gonna learn this uh, in future year uh, you'll be learning this okay and, uh, so that was great knowing about the journey of Sai Priya. So uh, I thank you uh, for sharing your precious moments and stories with us that will surely motivate our students. So at the end, what you would like to tell to uh, Innomatics? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. And I'm always thankful to Innomatics Research Labs for transforming my career and achieving my goal. That okay. is a job in data science. Uh, you are happy now? Yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> That's great. So guys, that was all about today's episode with Sai Priya. I hope uh, the people who are watching this video will get some additional benefits from her story. So yeah, here we'll uh, wind it up and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, more videos that are coming, uh, interesting stories of our ex innominions Stay tuned to our Instagram page and our all social media platforms. Because after all, it's Innomatics Research Lab. We just don't train, we transform barriers.